everybody, it's Swifty here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if this is your very first time here. For those who don't know me, hello, my name is Leilani. I am currently based out of Denver, Colorado. In 2021, I through hiked the Pacific Crest Trail. During that experience, I learned a lot. One of the things that I didn't think that I would learn as much on is uh, my appreciation and fascination on gears. And this YouTube video along with a, a series of upcoming videos will be going over the gears I brought on the Pacific Crest Trail. This specific video I will be focusing on the big three. So in the backpacking world, the big three consists of your tent, your backpack, and your sleep system. Uh, you'll be able to find the links to all of the gears that I'll be talking about in this video in my Notion. I will include a link in the description box with the links to all of the gears that I'll be talking about as well as their weight, uh, which section of the PCT I use that specific gear, and their cost. Uh, so that way you'll have this information to your disposal if if you're interested in looking at gears for an upcoming backpacking trip or a through hiking trip. Without further ado, let's dive in into my big three. Okay, so let's start with tents or shelter system. I started the trail um, with the Tartan Notch Lithium. So this is a one person tent, double wall, it comes with four stakes, if I'm not mistaken. The lithium line in tarp tent are all DCF tents, or DCF stands for Dyneema Composite Fabric, which is uh, one of the lightest and most durable material out there. This tent comes with four carbon fiber poles that is connected to each end of the tent to provide structure. You have the ability to take the carbon fiber pole off of the tent, however to put it back on in order to set up the tent. It's a bit more difficult when it's really cold and you can't feel your fingers. So I opted to just kind of leave the poles in there and then just roll the tent and leave it in a sack like this. The problem with that is you have to unstrap it to the outside of your pack because of the pole structure in itself. I was unfortunate to have lost the first one. So this is actually the second one, the exact same brand, the same line. The first tent I actually lost at Saia Valley while I was bushwhacking. To this day, I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I believe one of the tree branches must have hooked on to the drawstring and pulled it off of my backpack. So that, leads me to one of the things that I wish I have really paid attention to is how I pack this tent. Really, really love this tent. Pro is lightweight. It folds into a very small sack. Uh, it's very durable and it does really well in all three seasons. I had this tent snowed on, rain on, condensation, wind, and it just worked beautifully. So I highly, highly recommend this tent, but just think about how you want to pack this tent. I would recommend pay extra attention to how you pack this tent or strap this tent onto your backpack so that you don't make the same mistake I did. I also used the Gosma Gear the 2 for just a very short period of time as a substitute tent while I wait for my second tarp tent. One of the great things in comparison between the two tents, this tent I actually could put it inside of my backpack, which is really nice and I don't have to fear that I might lose the tent again. And also it's super spacious. To the point sometimes I feel like I'm taking up too much space. When the mosquitoes are so bad, you just want to hide from them as quickly as possible. So I would want to just throw my backpack inside of my tent and spread all my gears in my tent. And you can't do that with a one person tent and especially a tent as small as the notch lithium. 
So it was really nice to be able to do that in this two-person tent. And then next thing that you need with your shelter system is a pair of trekking poles. I also went through two pairs of trekking poles. So this is my second pair. This is the Alpine Black Diamond carbon fiber pole. I started off with the Cascade Mountain carbon fiber pole. I purchased it off of Amazon. Um, reasonably priced versus this cost I think twice if not three times more than the Amazon trekking pole. Mm -hmm. I lost the first pair or lost one of the first pair while I was river crossing in the Sierra section where I slipped and let go one of the pole. Once I reached to the next town, I went to the first gear shop I could find and this is the tin I got and have stuck with for the remainder of the hike. Underneath my tent, uh, you need a ground cloth. I think different people use different things, but for me, I use Tyvek. I felt that Tyvek is much more durable compared to some of the other options out there. You can get Tyvek from the hardware store. In certain towns, you could get Tyvek from gear stores, but I purchased mine from Six Moon Design off of Amazon. I love that it's a blank canvas so I can write on it and use it as a hitchhiking sign. So that came in really handy. Okay, so for backpacks, I actually use three backpacks on the trail. I started off with the REI Flash. It's definitely been loved. It needs a wash, it needs a shower. This is a 55 liter backpack. I have it in size small. I love the hip belt, it was really, really comfortable. I also really appreciate the pack has various different strap customizations. So each of these straps actually could come off and then you can alter it to your liking. So, okay. So in the Sierra section, I knew that we will have longer carry of food as well as a bear canister and some winter gear. So that's going to all add up being more weight on pack and on yourself. So I ended up switching for a ULA catalyst. And that was one of the biggest mistakes I made. I know that the ULA Catalyst has a great reputation in the through hiking community. Many other through hikers were rocking the ULA Catalyst. For me, uh, the hip bell was incredibly uncomfortable and the straps. But I do remember feeling so, so happy when I got my REI flash back. The so one thing I learned, don't fix something that's not broken on the trail. If it works for you, stick with it. During the Washington section, I switched to this pack. Now this is a really, really popular pack on the PCT. This is the Hyperlite Mountain Gear 3400 Southwest. This pack is made of also uh, DCF material, so Dyneema fabric, which means that it's waterproof, ultra durable. I wanted to make sure that everything in my pack remains dry because wet gear means hyperthermia and I did not want to risk that. I think these two are close tie. This one definitely has gone through more miles, but this one I just feel so strong and it's just a really beautiful pack. Okay. So last but not least in the big three, we have my sleep system. For sleeping bag, I used two sleeping bags on the trail. Majority of the time, I use the Western Mountaineering Ultralight 20 degree Fahrenheit sleeping bag. I absolutely, sorry, my cat's here. <laughs> I absolutely love, love, I mean, love this sleeping bag. It's definitely one of my favorite gears to this day. So this is rated for 20 degrees and it is handmade. I just can't believe it. I take naps in here. <laughs> I sleep on picnic tables on this. I, I love cowboy camping in this sleeping bag. So um, yeah, so it's so comfy and cozy. I just feel like a butterfly whenever I'm in it. So the second sleeping bag I use is the Enlightened Equipment uh, Convert. So this is also rated 20 degree Fahrenheit. I use this sleeping bag during the NorCal section because NorCal is 
a lot warmer than the rest of the trail. Uh, and I like the option to switch from, you know, quilt to sleeping bag. This definitely did the job. Okay, so for sleeping bag liners, I used two of them. So this is the Cocoon Silk sleeping bag liner. It's also been well loved and I think it's ripped in several places. I've washed this so many times, but it's, it's permanently brown. <laughs> that liner, um, I always had this liner inside of my sleeping bag when I pack it. And then during the Sierra section, I use the Sea the Summit Thermalite Fabric Reactor Extreme. It claims to add 20 degrees Fahrenheit into your sleep system. I cannot confirm or deny this, but I do know that it definitely helped in retaining my heat, which, you know, super helpful in the Sierra section because it was cold every day. <laughs> okay, so for sleeping pad, I started off with the Thermarest New Air x Light, size regular mummy, shape. I know a lot of people complain that it's incredibly noisy with sleeping on this pad. I didn't mind that. The only thing that did annoy me is the pad was slide all over the place in the tent. So I got a Gossamer Gear foam thin light to create a friction between the space of the sleeping pad and my tent. That helped a lot. The foam pad did its wonder, but I lost it at some point on the trail. I don't remember where. Thermarest Z Light. I ended up just carrying this outside of my backpack and mostly used it as a nap pad, a sit pad, and uh, a yoga mat. It's a luxury item because I was carrying two sleeping pads. During the Sierra section, I was carrying the Thermarest New Air X Therm. First one I got, I had to send back because it was leaking and I couldn't figure out what the problem was. I had merged it into water, put soap on it, and the leak did not reveal itself. So I contacted REI and they were able to send me a new one. Whether I was carrying the New Air X light or the X-Therm. I always had it in this sack. I didn't want to go through the process of rolling them. It seemed very tedious to me. So I folded them and then put them in this sack and then that way it's flat and then it presses down all of the gear that I have at the bottom, including my clothes and my sleeping bag. This is also made by Hyperlite Mountain Gear. I think this is the three liter size, but they have multiple different sizes you could choose from. From. And what's special about this bag or this sack is that this is also my pillow. So at night when I take out the sleeping pad, I stuff this sack with my dirty clothes and my dirty socks and have it wrapped into my buff, which is really soft. So it was a perfect pillow and it worked really well for me. And these are my big three items. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this video helpful thank you again for watching and i can't wait for the next one